All I couldn't see in your face. In your face, you bud. You know, I'm in a good mood. Let's do another one, Bobo. Sure. Gourmet chef or office worker. The choice is yours. Didn't we do office worker last time and I'm just crazy? I don't think we did office worker last time, but... Now, let's see. What was the alternative? Gourmet chef. That... That sounds like it has potential. All right. You're getting a special edition of Macho Meals today, folks. The PR edition. Oh, yeah. And if you don't like me making this voice, you can blame Bobo. It's all his fault. Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of the gourmet chef. All right. Same deal. We have little paper orders we can take down here. And that progresses the game. We'll start by Son of a bread. bitch. Turn on the grill and let's get frying. Okay. Just turn on the grill and fry Even something, huh? spend the entire night in a state of low power consumption, they still require food energy as soon as they wake up. Bacon and eggs provide a high energy... Macho Meals energy. hype. We've made a good, made a good decision. Alright, so we're making some bacon and eggs. Just slap it on there. There you go. I'm glad I can just pull these off of my hands. That's why it's really macho meals. Also glad you can put your hand on the grill. I'm, presumably your hands are made out of Nomex. Well, Bobo, I'm too hot to touch, too cold to hold, too sweet to beat. So it's not really a problem for me, you understand? Oh, that's fair. Very cool. Also, it's closed the freezer so nothing breaks. It's one of the most efficient forms of human food. Simply take some of your inefficient solid food and put it through the blender. All right, we're going to make a smoothie or some such thing. We just put a bunch of stuff in a blender and something comes out. Well, since this is macho meals, it's got to be made out of meat. It's just how it is. Also, it's too big. There we go. Now it'll fit. Now it's going to suggest throwing some wine in there. Of course we'll put some wine in there. Oh, gotta take out the cork first. That's right. Looks good. Pour it out into a cup and then we can serve it. Let's not take those cups. They'll make everything go all over the place. Not the classiest cup for your smoothie. Your wine, steak, and chicken smoothie. <laughs> that actually sounds quite classy. <laughs> Only the best here at Shea Machos. Bottle of red meat. <laughs> Bottle of white meat. <laughs> Give me your finest red meat ale. Oh, that's red meat. Please don't spit in food, by the way. Alright, so this guy wants us to make him tea, which is sort of weird at a restaurant when you bring in the tea bag yourself. But the customer is always right, as they say. I feel like that save. guy was also uh, a problem at the convenience store. He had an unscannable hat. Yeah, yeah, he was the rich guy. <laughs> like most beverages, tea is best optimized for consumption by being placed in a cup. All right, cup, you say. Let me get you another cup. It's a pretty big one. Gourmet grub. There you go. If I can, let's put that there for a second. I uh, guess you better believe there is some tea bag humor being made. Also require heat. Also is, oh no 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 no! Let's try that again. Did you just travel to Italy? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no 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 no! <laughs> No, no, no. What happened is I knocked over the tea with the pipe when I was trying to arrange the plating oh, God, in a yeah. attractive fashion. Now we need to make crumpets. Where did I put those damn things? Crumpets, crumpets. Okay, maybe they're on the other section. Some folks there are we go. asking to see what a grilled pipe would be like. Grilled pipe. Okay. I don't overcook that pipe. It's not flammable enough as it is.
There we go. Oh, I usually can catch both of them, but I slipped one to the side. It's still good. <laughs> Didn't land on the floor this time. There you go. Oh. Close enough. <laughs> Caught one of them against your torso. That's fine. No, he didn't get his. He didn't get his pipe. That's all right. Also, you may wonder. You see those fishing back? Yeah. Yep, that does indeed happen. You were hmm. there, and I was part of it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we need some water, so let's go ahead and get some water from the sink. No. Oh. My wine has came come back in the sink. Fantastic. I knew I had this designed for that specific purpose. Let's get that out of there. Actually, we'll put the tea in there for some extra flavor. We'll make this a uh, tea base soup. What is up with you, wine? You want to be part of everything that they don't you? <laughs> Just jumped right into the sink. And you did it again. Okay, you want to be part of this. Wine's drunk. Go home, wine. You're drunk. All right, so when you put things into there, let's go ahead and be a little creative. Jeez. There wine is go. like the, the... What the hell, wine? The wine is like a damn Beauty and the Beast character. <laughs> Keeps hopping out and dancing around. That... Also, soup's done. Look at that. Tea and cactus soup. Delicious. We just serve it in the can. The hipsters love it. All right, put that there. I'm watching you. Stay there. Also, human employees must wash their... What the hell is wrong with you, wine? You're bad. You're fucking bad and no one loves you. Is it round on the bottom? <laughs> it's like there's a constant earthquake occurring in this restaurant. Stop it. Nope, I'm watching you stop it. Stop, stop. Here we go. Oh, you just christened the sink. <laughs> you are now Mr. Sink. Anyway. <laughs> okay, you can live there. This is your house now. I will go ahead and make it a roof. There you, there you go. You're broken, too. I want a sandwich. Okay. Let me bring up the sandwich thing. Bye, Wayne. I'll see you later. Dennis Ram believes the kitchen is haunted by virtual ghosts. Alrighty. What kind of sandwich? Fire extinguisher sandwich? I'm not sure if I can make a fire extinguisher sandwich. I can't make a disco sandwich. Speaking of which, let's get some tunes going. Get in there, you. It's not too loud, you know, not the disturbed piece. Uh, what did you say? A cactus? I don't have any more cacti. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. I do have a cacti. Oh man. Our artistic vision, boo boo. They won't let us have it. A cactus, Ooh. you don't be like the wine. <laughs> Why are you jumping at me like that? Stop it. I guess that spot really is haunted by some kind of poltergeist. It's weird. It's fucking weird. I don't care for it whatsoever. Anyway. Oh, sorry. I just now got to wear it up. If you leave it there, it's going to keep trying to do a thousand needle strike on you. <laughs> Truly, it is. Can I make a book sandwich? Man, I can't have any fun. Let's just go ahead and make a cookie sandwich. There we go. Cookie sandwiches are the best kind. And, of course, we got to have a slice of bacon on there. There you go. We complete our sandwich with an olive. Because without it, it's not a sandwich. It's not, it's not the kind you get at a restaurant. There you Maybe go. Subway. Ooh, raw bacon sandwich. That's a BCC. Oh, yeah. All right. There you go, fish. Another order for you. All right, this guy has a fancy steak for us. He wants it extra rare. Actually, 
I think the steak is just rare on its own. I don't think he wants it rare, which is weird. I think he wants you to revive the cow. Yep, is he in the kid there? He wants it to be well done, you fucking heretic. Well done. Why don't you just ache, tell me to take out my soul and put it on your plate? No. no, no, no. Meat is supposed to be just like Monday nights. Raw. Now I need to figure out where I can get this, this guy some wine. Since my last wine jumped in the sink and I'm pretty sure I broke it. In fact, here's the top of it right here. Maybe you just give him that much? Well, he wants it in a cup, so maybe if I also... Whatever. I was going to say, I had two tops. Maybe if I break everything, it'll respawn. Come back to me, wine! Or maybe if you just... Oh, well, yeah. There's enough of... Oh, great. The pieces are invincible, too. Well, they eventually go away. Uh, hmm. How am I gonna get you some wine, man? <laughs> Ooh, I didn't notice this the first time through, but this is the Burninator 2000. No, it's, it's for burninating the peasants. I was gonna say, it's got a very beefy griddle to it. I like it. Uh, hmm. How am I gonna satisfy this guy's order? Oh, well, I'll give you milk. <laughs> if you complain, it's your own fault. <laughs> In fact, I'll Duke give you man, milk. running wild. This is a very, very avant-garde wine here. I'm serving it in a kettle. That's not good enough for you. Hmm. Well, just call this a gardening simulator because I think I'm hosed. Um, we got to be able to work this out. Where's my wine? Ah, good. I have a pantry of unlimited wine. Sorry about the delay, sir. I just had to find where our unlimited wine stash was. Alright. Here we go. Hopefully yeah. this one won't be as wily as our last vintage, sir. Very uncontrollable. Now, can you just put that in with the milk, or do you have to get a discreet new container? Haha! <laughs> Fantastic. Pat Lerman wants you to throw the bottle at his face. Everybody wants mixes of wine and milk. Ah, what the, oh, nice. They nest like Matryoshka dolls. <laughs> I know. I wish I could. I'm going to have to switch accent. I wish I could put it together like the little Matryoshkas, but couldn't. Would not allow me to. Anyway, back to Macho Meals, where we have given that guy his wine. My other wine has committed suicide again. <laughs> wine is just too beautiful for this world. Ghosts! <laughs> There are ghosts all over this place. Just, what is just, happening there? Just quit trying to have wine out. It's never going <laughs> to no, work. No, no, there's something different, Bobo. You'll see in a second. It's horrifying. <laughs> Either way, we need to make pizza. So we need to get out the blender. The tomatoes are not in there. They're in the cold section. It's still just hovering there and there. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> all right. There we go. And we need some bread. All right, cheese. I think there's some in here. So we put the bread in the microwave. We put the cheese in the microwave. Can I put... I want to put some bacon in the microwave on top of it. Bacon, bacon pizza. Take my mind off these ghosts. <laughs> 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 
One slice is enough? Okay. Hope little Timmy feels good about that. Actually, it wouldn't be half bad to have a, uh, have whole slices of pizza, or of bacon on your pizza instead of these little crumbly bits. Damn street. I knew there was something there I'm missing. So this... So this little tyke, this robot tyke, is allergic to tomatoes, somehow. And he wants sauce made out of apples. To replace tomato sauce, which might be pretty good, I don't know. Hmm. Should have uh, done an LP of Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom with Zerf and I. We Just hate the tomatoes. We decided to do it anyway. Also, let me take the time to wash this out. Because, I mean, there were tomatoes in it and I don't want the tyke to get sick, I guess. So get some water. <laughs> Hello, wine. Welcome back. I'll put you back in your house in just a moment. There you go, fella. I like to imagine any time you open that cabinet now, it's just going to completely explode outwards with bottles of wine. Well, no, I put him back in the sink. That seems to be his happy place. <laughs> All right, nice and clean. I'll put an apple. We'll even put in two apples. So little Timmy has a lot of sauce. There you go. And the bread. I have an <laughs> I have an endless loaf of bread here. It's kind of amazing. I could solve world hunger. And my hunger. All right. Are we sure that was the apple and not uh, the 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 apple and not the tomato again? Yeah, it was one of these suckers. Let me show you the size difference. Although these tomatoes, I tell you, are county fair material. Look, at, actually, they are about the same size. I'm sure it was. She didn't complain. <laughs> All right then. I could make some kind of unholy hybrid. Not today. I guess you do see the stem here. Yeah. All right. And you want some cheese on there. There you go. Make that a little smaller so it's not so weird. My per oh. This is a very special kind of cheese. Don't mind it. It's all kosher here. I have very clean feet. Plus you're a robot, so it doesn't matter. Just how I like it. Off the floor. <laughs> Perfect. Dennis, Ar Dennis Aran says he'd eaten a Plato. Now, personally, I'm already disappointed when I found out that Grapeo isn't actually an unholy hybrid of grapes and apples. Also, we have something very special here, Bobo. This guy's trying to propose to his girlfriend. <gasps> so, he's given us a ring that we're going to hide in a sandwich. Hopefully she doesn't need it. Oh, that's a good idea. So, let's see. What kind of silly sandwich? Uh, that'd be... Well, you know what? This is cheesy. So, there you go. Bam, perfect. Plus, with the cheese in there, she'll know you're a provider. <laughs> also, bring home the bacon. Oh yeah, I can burn your discs. So we have an image of a lemon-lime hybrid in the chat. You'll have to examine that later. Hmm. Alright, romantic tunes engaged. Sandwich, I said sandwich deployed. There you go. Erad wants to eat the ring, or at least wants to know if we can. I imagine that's not a good idea. We've already had so much go wrong with uh, with wine. You're just uh, extinguishing fires out of boredom at this point, Lethal? Oh, yeah. 
I mean, Wait, Macho. Just, just Shit, my immersion. Just waiting for the dialogue to progress, Major Bobo. Oh yeah, you bitcha. Free birthday cakes. You and your various sayings are adorable. So, to make a cake, we first birth that egg. Just as a bird of reality. I don't know where it went. Let's get another one. There we go. Much better. Put that in there. You can have these. Or they can just explode. It doesn't matter. And now, to make a cake, we also need flour. Which, here we go. Here's our flour. And now we need something to put into it. Well, I know I have some people in here who play the Space Station 13, so we'll go ahead and make a baking cake. Pretty sure that's still a thing. There you go. It is delicious. Look at that. And even as it came out, we'll, we'll, we'll love the candle. Can I take out the candle? I kind of wish that whenever I broke yeah, an egg, it would automatically come out uh, over easy like that. I know, and you could just pick it up and slam it on the things. That would yeah. be pretty great. Actually, I'd, I'd, I'd probably go for hard-boiled, but still. I like all eggs. Actually had a whole bunch of deviled eggs yesterday, which I was going to have on Sunday during a family event, but I wasn't feeling well. You understand? I do. All right. Baking cake deployed. All right. On to our next order. Let's get going. Hey, boss. That party left a huge pile of dirty dishes. We're going to need your help to get through these. They're pretty nasty, so make sure you use a good score to soap. All righty. Wine, I need you as my special assistant here, okay? I'm going to mm. have to use your home to clean these dishes. Here we How go. dare you encroach on Wineland? The thing is soap. Put some water on there. There's one done. If only doing dishes was this easy in real life. What the? What are you Just doing? get them immersed in water and they're fine. Yeah, one squirt of soap. There you go. I'm amazed I didn't break that or something. There you go. There's another one for you. And. Great. Thanks for your help. Needle. There it is. On to the next order. Swish. Kaboom. I have to clean again. These hardly seem like food orders. Man, you knocked over my best friend, Mr. Wine, with your box of stuff. It's really hard to get rid of these. Oof. Are you sure you're not gonna... Okay, good. You are going to get virtually sick from these. Well, that's lovely. The immersion was too much, so now I need to test the uh, the smoke or the uh, sprinkler system by chucking something at it. Uh. I guess it's not also, now everybody is sharing their stories of having deviled eggs at family events this weekend. <laughs> I did too, but uh, I didn't realize how uh, intrinsic it was to uh, the the whole idea of a Memorial Day weekend. All right, so now we need to look for any bugs we might have back here. Oh my fucking goodness. Look at all of them. Nope. Hey. The solution to everything is in my stomach. Must eat all the bugs. There we go. You could grill them. I could. That wouldn't be as tasty. Oh, I can't let those nutrients go to waste. Uh -huh. 
You could dip them in chocolate. That's a thing people do. <laughs> if I had the time, I would, but the health inspector's already here. Oh, I see. Ghosts are at it again. Look at it. Poltergeist. What is doing that? It's fucking magical. All right, so now we get to have a cooking show transpire. Oh, it's going to be a reality competition. Well, it's some kind of parody nonsense. Yeah. I wish it was an Iron Chef. Iron Chef Macho, yeah. Be the undefeated intercontinental champion of Iron Chef Macho. The heck is this? Oh, yeah, you want me to blend this up? He's filming it. Here we go. Gotcha. Flavor packet in the microwave. Oh yeah. Let me see if I can get my showmanship. I keep gesturing at the camera. Oh yeah. There it is for all to see. Mm -hmm. Iron Chef flavor packet. <laughs> Only the best ingredients that have been, uh, you know, tried. Allez, cuisine! Mm. Oh, yeah! Oh, such so taste and flavor! Man, it's been infused. There you go. Take your hit and leave. I need to make sure my wine's all right. You all right, wine? Oh, welcome back. <laughs> now, are you ready to behave and be a good wine? Stay. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Surprised wine didn't come out to be your sidekick for the, uh, for the show. Here we go now. I'm completely in character, Bobo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah. Gotta get the do rag, too. Or is that a beret? No, it's it, a uh, bona fide bandana. Yeah. It's a two rag now, for sure. All right. He wants us to cook it up. I'm going to put this pepper in the, uh, in the toaster. There you go. Can I catch it? As it comes out. Oh, look at that. Still not warm enough for you, and I got a case of the gas. Let's try the microwave. That's not a microwave. The wine has decided <laughs> that it wants to behave. Now that's good. Whew. Here you go. I wish I could take your Slim Jim, but it's glued to your hand. Strangely. This uh, this particular combination of uh, get ups, bits and pieces makes me wish we had a replay theater mode. <laughs> you can see the true after effects of what your chef looked like. They did what they do. <laughs> Some people don't think it is what it is, but it do. That's right. All right, so now we get to make whatever we want. This is a special. So of course, since this is macho meals, we gotta make meat. <laughs> If I can somehow get this open. Also, I like these. This is a little like a uh, stromboli. So that'll be part of this special. Man, I love a stromboli. Can't have them. Love them. No fun whenever you're trying to turn it around, right? Yeah. So steak under stromboli. A macho favorite. Apparently, he likes it. All right, we'll get us a chicken, whatever this is, it's a meatball. 
And of course, another steak. And I'm gonna have to close this so I can refill my steak. Cause that's how it works. You put it in there, close the door, and the poltergeist give you a new steak. There you go. They're the ones in command of the wine. Perfect. Yes, that's right. I forgot about the wine. All right, Mr. Wine. Time for you to shine. All right. In fact, here you go. Go have fun out there. There we go. They got something special, but I need to replace my friend. Here he is. There we go. A new wine friend. <laughs> You're, you truly are the real deal. <laughs> also, I had to laugh at that milk. <laughs> that milk was kind of funny. Let's see if it does it again. But then I want to see that happen. All right, let's try that again. If we set you upright, do this. That wasn't as hilarious as the last time. All right, new wine. There you go. I saw you jump, so you go into the uh, bad wine spot. I mean, it's just... It's just wine. That's just what wine does. You can't blame the wine. <laughs> well, I'm perfectly capable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, there's fire everywhere. Remember, folks, aim for the beast of flame. There you go. You got new glasses and everything. I'm gonna take these. Hey, oh, well, I only have this bandana then. Come on, go out fire. Bad, go out fire. There we go, perfect. Keep those as backups for later. Exactly. In fact, you know what? Here you go, my friend. Yeah, no, you're in character too. You're one of the maniacs. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness, or TV. Yeah. Gregnack's going to bed. Will you have a good night, Greg? Bye, bye, Greg Nick. You almost tipped your do-rag to him. Ready to go, boss. You ready, human? Okay, bring in the talent. Talent? Bring in the talent. Talent's already here. Nice to meet you, human. I'm Chef Bob Ramsay. Let's get this ball rolling, shall we? Okay, we'll start with the meat. Bunch of imposter macho men on the crew. <laughs> Actually, they are if you throw them on there hard enough. The bell hasn't appeared, or else I would. Will you stop dispensing these? Stop it! <laughs> they can't help it. They're non stop meat machines. You're making my fish unhealthy. <laughs> All right, all right. Get the sand out of your panties. I'm doing it. I'm trying hard. God. It needs some wine. Jeez. There you go. You've done your part. At least part we know where to get wine. That's at least the simple part. Also, Katamari, uh, Lethal's not going to give every robot a name from the chat because Lethal can't read the chat. Yeah, I can't read what you Yahoo's putting in there. That's why one reason why Bobo's here. It's also because I like his company whenever I'm doing the streams. Oh, see all this. And I'm not just going to recite everybody's name for funsies. That's right. And apparently that's the end of our little experiment here. So I want to thank Chabot, Bobo, the wine, the guy who brought me my glasses and bandana. 
that's a real MVP of this uh, of this particular uh, stream game right here. Wine. Guy who brought you the shades and the bandana. I know. I completely forgot about that guy. Also, wine. It's time for you to sleep with the fishes. And when I mean I, when I say sleep with the fishes, I mean shatter against the ceiling, which is I guess there. It's completely black. Anyway, it's time again to eat the burrito of progress. Mm. What the it exploded when I threw it into the ceiling? Now I couldn't hear it, but did the uh, wine make a sh sound of shattering glass? Oh yeah! Oh, good. Stone Cold's coming.